before we head into the video guys as you know we're on the road to 1 million subscribers so if you guys want to help me along that road and you happen to not be subscribed to the channel yet please make sure you go down below the video right now press that subscribe button and press the bell as well so always notified when i upload a brand new video thank you so much for all the support on the channel so far we're up to 800 000 subscribers now which is just nuts to think about thank you for making that a possibility and hope you guys enjoy today's video love y'all yo what is up guys today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do the wall chain dash i was doing a couple videos here and there and you guys are asking me how to do it so i'll show you guys how i personally do it i don't know how this is done by other people but i know this has been done by other people i just don't know exactly how they do it this is how i learned to do it on my own and um i think that this is probably the easiest way to try to do it yourself if you want to it's not crazy useful in game honestly it just looks really cool and um it does give you sub speed if you have no boost it can help you for sure it's just you have to go to the wall to make it work there's obviously the ground one which I believe I already told you guys about. I already made a video on just the ground chain dashes. I'll cover that briefly in this video, but this is mainly for the wall ones. But the ground ones, obviously, um, it's pretty straightforward. Like what you see is pretty much what it is. It's just you're jumping really quick, quick wave dash, and you just keep going. You just keep on repeating the same action over and over again. But I'll, I'll cover that in a second. But for the wall ones, the cool thing about it is it just like, it's much quicker than the, the ground ones. You can see how fast it was right there. And you can do that across the whole wall. It's much quicker than the ground ones and uh, you'll see how easy it is to do yourself. Anyone can actually do this. You can be lower rank and pull this off and there's a lot of different ways to do it as well. There's no there's no set way to do it. You don't have to wave dash up the wall like I was. There's a lot of different ways to do it. So I'll, I'll tell you guys real quick. But first I want to just cover the ground wave dash, like the ground chain dash because you guys are asking me about chain dashes in general. So this is just a tutorial on chain dashes in general. And there's ones that you can do on the ceiling which I don't know how to do but I have seen freestylers do it. Uh, but I will cover the ground ones and the wall ones. So for the ground one, so pretty much all it is is this. If you guys don't know this, if you just tap X, you do a smaller jump. And if you tap X twice, you do two smaller jumps. Whereas if you hold X twice, you do two really big jumps. So for these ground chain dashes, you're just doing a mini jump and then two mini jumps back to back. So you see how low my car stays to the ground and I can do a lot of really cool things with it over and over again. So that's pretty much all it is. It's just you're jumping, wave dash to the side, really quick, double tap X and just keep wave dashing to the same side. You can look at my controller over if you need help. That's the whole idea of it. It's just really, really quick mini jumps. It's just really hard to get the timing of it, but that's the whole idea of it. All it is is a singular wave dash to the side and you're jumping really quick again off your wave dash. That's, that's why you'll see my car looks a little bit different than a normal wave dash. A normal wave dash just like this. What I'm doing is just a quick jump after my wave dash is done as well. To double jump so that's the whole idea of the the ground one and you can mix it up you could do the the back and forth little waddle wave dash which i always thought looked cool but again this one's not crazy effective like it's not super useful in all honesty i don't use it much outside of when i'm just messing around i've never really used this in a competitive environment um, when i'm taking it super serious but it's definitely a cool thing to know how to do and i think it's really fun to do especially in free play and just to get a better idea of how to control your car it's just a really useful thing to learn so yeah all it is is just a really quick wave dash and just trying to recover off the ground by using your your second jump by tapping extra really quick yeah, that's the whole idea of the the ground chain dash and i'll show you guys the wall one now so pretty much like a, so just a little quick so a quick breakdown of that before we get into the wall one just jumping and just a quick double jump of x and holding one direction you go back and forth with your left stick and it's all it is just repeat that that motion across the whole map so that's for for ground wave dashes and chain dashes now what you want to do on the wall if you're trying to do the wall chain dash i'll show you guys what that looks like first so that's a pretty good example of what it would look like and uh it's actually really straightforward to do this it's actually probably easier to do this than the ground one because the ground one requires a lot of timing because you have to time off your jumps when you do your next flip but for this all it is is just spamming your your x pretty much and holding one direction um and then you gotta kind of get lucky with the way you go up the wall honestly it doesn't really have much to do with your timing it's like partially luck but also you gotta be able to be really fast at spamming your your x button so the basic controls of it is you want to just go up the wall around here as soon as you're at this point you can push top right as you can see on my controller if you're on the right wall you push top right if you're on the left wall you're gonna push top left toward the wall that you're on 
and then you're just gonna spam X over and over again in that direction. So you wanna do it pretty much as soon as you land over here, around this part of the wall is when you should start. As soon as it starts curving up to be a straight wall, that's where you should start your, your training dashes. You can actually mess with this quite a bit as well. In actual gameplay, you can kind of use it as a fake. This is an example. Yeah, you can make a little, you're gonna swing up for a shot and then you just do a fake and you keep hitting them with the fake while the ball's on the wall and you're just dribbling. That's a, a good use for it. Pretty much one of the only uses for it in game, I'd say. Um, but in terms of just what it looks like, again, you wanna go up the wall right around here and you're just spamming toward the wall and spamming X. Exactly what I told you guys. Hold toward the wall, press your, your power slide button and make sure you're, you're just spamming X as much as possible. And you will mess it up sometimes. I mess it up still. I've done it quite a bit, but you can do it a couple different ways. You can start off with a wave dash like this and then keep going into it. You can start it off with just jumping onto the wall and then you just keep spamming like that. So those are all the buttons you need to pull this off, but then it comes down to just learning like which part of the wall you can actually do this on. You can also start it off with a flip if you want to. I used to do it that way and I thought that it was like super easy to do it like that when I first started. So it all comes down to you really and whatever feels most comfortable to you. But yeah, there's three ways to start it pretty much. Jumping onto the wall like that with a flip, you can just jump straight up onto the wall like that. Or you could do a wave dash, which sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, those are the three ideas of how you can start it off. And then you just use those same three controls and there you go. That's pretty much how you chain dash on the wall. There's not much to it really, but it's a, a really cool looking thing to do for sure. And it does gain you a little bit of extra speed. I did do some testing on it. It seems to give you a little bit extra speed over just going straight back if you're just driving straight back on the wall. But most of the time you don't want to be doing that because you don't have the, you don't have the ability to like super easily just go like this. Right? If you're, if you're just stuck chain dashing on the wall all the way downfield and you're just flipping onto the wall, how are you going to turn around quick? You can't, right? So there's not many uses to it, honestly, but it does look extremely cool and it's something that you guys should probably practice if you want to just mess with your car control and trying to get better understanding the mechanics of the game and how just like dodges and stuff like that work. Especially the ground ones. The ground ones I actually think do help you quite a bit. I have used them before. I'll like jump off the wall like this and I'll just do something like this if I have no boost to go over to this boost. I've done it before. Um, but there's a lot of uses for these stuff. There's a lot of uses throughout the game to like throw these in here and there. Wave dashes on the ground, definitely more useful than the wall, but just learn to do it in different ways and you'll be able to implement it in different ways into your game. But yeah, that's the whole idea. Pretty much, I hope you guys have a better understanding of how to do your, uh, your ground chain dashes and your wall chain dashes now. And yeah, if you guys want to see a tutorial on anything else in particular, I can do one on double flip resets if you guys want. I could try to teach you guys how to do like a proper double flip reset and what flip I'm doing, how I'm doing this flip cancel, stuff like that. I could definitely, I could definitely show you guys that. It's all up to you really. So let me know down below and I'll, I'll make more videos like this. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.